big moon. It's not um, it's not full. It's gonna be full tomorrow night. Let's take a walk here along the highway. I'm not doing my regular night demon walk. I just am trying to kill off this cold for good. It's almost gone, but uh, I don't want to fuck with it, so I'm gonna stay in. Um, and uh, look at all the craziness in the world. Just to uh, just to be clear, that uh, the Gaza thing right now. I don't know what's going on here. The Gaza thing is complete um, bullshit. They uh, they they attack themselves to then have a reason to go over there and demolish that area because they need to reshape the Middle East so that they can get their third temple built. It's all bullshit. I mean, what they had there in Gaza for many years is the world's largest open-air prison. MC International's been on their ass for, for a while. Even Peter's not happy with them, right, Pete? Pete, there you go. All right. Uh, yeah, it's a uh, it's a sad situation. Um, you know, when I, when I first started looking into that years ago, I remember the first some of the first footage I really looked at to see what the situation was like over there, because I really didn't know much about it. I noticed that the streets they had uh, going into the main city or whatever what the fuck is the main area down there, whatever their main area their their main marketplace kind of area would be or one of i noticed they had the streets like there's a barrier like uh of, of um those highway barriers you see that that like keep cars from riding into stuff they had it separating the street and on one side the jewish people could walk and if you were palestinian you had to walk on the other side so they they already were had a setup there that uh, where they treat them like second-class citizens, and they're constantly just killing people, demolishing houses in Gaza. It's just I don't have to go on and on about what they do. You can look into this stuff yourself. I think they're surprised though the world isn't on their side like they thought, and because of this, they're they're getting a little angry and uh, doing their whole censorship thing and striking out at people, and they cry out as they strike here per usual and then that that main thing is all complete horseshit too that's another it's another psyop it's a psyop it's to me it, it seems like just a psyop to take heat away from the current psyop that isn't going so well the, the last few of these things i mean god well actually none of them have really worked out well for a long time um they they never really come back with that 7-eleven mojo you know, I mean, that was the last time they really, they made me believe. Was that some of Actually, you know what? No. The Aurora thing, I thought was real at first. I thought that was real. That was kind of the first thing, really. That, that happened during the time I knew that it was all bullshit. Why is this guy shadowing me? Uh, there's always someone shadowing you here in these streets. Uh... And then, of course, it's because they want to go right on. But the, um, whenever I saw Christian Bale at that kid's bedside, who, I'm like, all right. And then I saw the interviews, the, um, they were doing, uh, witness interviews, and it was the next day. And they had a kid that was still there. And he kept saying, you believe me, right? You believe me, right? I'm like, wait, why would he still be there a day later? after the shooting and then why does he keep saying you believe me right and then it was like all right and then once i started uncovering that whole thing the very next thing that happened while i was aware of that kind of stuff was the hook and that thing was just so blatant and crazy we talked about that the other day um that it's like it, it's a, a mixture of incompetence Maybe some Ubers, maybe some Ubers, uh, and the and the disintegrating bail. 
You know, we couldn't see this stuff before. And, you know, they're all just so bad. I don't even look at them anymore. I heard about the main thing. I didn't even look at it. I, I mean, as far as the story, I saw a little bit of film where they were talking to an eyewitness who is a man in drag, claiming to be a woman, and I said, all right, enough of this. You know, they gotta throw all the shit in there. It's a spell. <laughs> Went to talk, I spoke coffee on myself. It's a spell, it's a ritual. They gotta have components to it. I was watching a video today over on BitChute, which is like the only place you can see this type of stuff. And it was a guy that wrote a book on Israel and the creation of Israel. And he was saying, even though my book doesn't have anything about it in it, people always ask me about the Holocaust. You know, they're always asking about, you know, this is him saying this, you know, what do you think about the Holocaust? And he just kind of broke it down by numbers. Um, and one of the first things he talked about was uh, the plaque they have at Auschwitz. Uh, hey, the weird thing too, like, and you can find this too, that the German people, after the war, had never heard of the Holocaust. They didn't know what it was. Even the name Nazis came later. Yeah, that, that whole thing is weird. But anyway, so he was like, um, he was showing the, he had photos of the, the first plaque that said, four million Jews were exterminated here uh, through gas chamber and then cremated. And then in 1972, they changed it to, and it says this on the plaque, about a million and a half. It says about on the plaque. The 1972 plaque that came in said about a million and a half were systematically gassed and then uh, cremated here. And then one more came in in the 1990s. Excuse me, I'm just trying to put something away. And then another one came in the 1990s that said uh, 1.1 million, 90% of which were Jewish people. So now we're even lower, okay? And that then the other work camps don't even have anything claiming to be any certain the numbers just don't add up as far as how to process these people he said you'd have to be able to burn a human body in 15 minutes because every every 15 minutes one would have to be burned to reach these numbers and then what what had been kind of settled into over the years that the number six million the six is just it's a symbolic number. It's symbolic. They didn't, there wasn't really six million Jews killed there. And, you know, they say this, even scholars are like, well, it wasn't exactly six million, but the six million is symbolic. Because six is part of the spell. He was saying, uh, you know, they just had to get the six in there because it's part of their, their gematria. Well, yeah, it is, but it's also because it's spellcraft. And, and spells need certain things. You need, uh, you know, this element, that... Uh, element you need this street number you need a you know a pinch of that a bag of this and six is one of the numbers they had to have in there just like uh 7-eleven was an inside job you know numbers you see like famous celebrities that die they die on certain streets he he died on hermes street uh he he died at 37 Hermes Street, you know, it's like they, they're obsessed with this Kabbalah magic, this Kabbalist magic, this, uh, this black magic they use. So, he basically said, you know, that this guy that was doing this video, um, he'd read a bunch of books about it, but this specific one was just about the creation of Israel. And he was saying it's just, facts are facts. And... Symbolism is symbolism, but um, you know, yeah, a lot of people died, all kinds of people died, and it, it's not, he's not saying that people didn't die, it's just that 
their official story just isn't true. You know, it's just not true. And since, I mean, we kind of knew, I mean, it's not like this is some big revelation. You know, we, we've been memeing about the, uh, the roller coaster and the bear and the eagle and the frozen grandpa for a long time. The masturbation machine, all the lies that they talk about. I think they're showing the world what their real deal is right now. You know, all these people that kind of push back against them over the years. Whether just shit posters or, you know, people writing books like this guy. Um, I don't think you have to do much, much more work because they're showing the world right now what, what they're about. You know, I mean, you're seeing it. Uh, it's almost the equivalent to like what happened with the riots like a couple of years ago at the Black Lives Matter riots and stuff. It's like, okay, we, we, we know what they're about now. Okay, that, that's fine. And now these people are showing us what they're about now. So hopefully people see this stuff and they, you know, and it's not all of them. Of course it's not all of them. There's outliers in every, every group, you know, um, but uh, give them enough rope, you know. Give them enough rope, have faith in God, and just, you know, hope that, uh, Hope that everything works out the way it should, and it will. Evil is lost, the beast is, uh, the beast is dying. I say it all the time, but it's true. If it wasn't dying, it wouldn't be this spastic and this violent and this out of control. If it had control, if the beast was in full control, things would be a lot more laid back. It would be horrible. Life would be horrible. They would implement horrible things but it would happen in a different way. It would happen over a period of time. And it wouldn't be so spastic the way it is now. You know? Uh, what you're seeing is like the, the, the death throes of desperation. You know, I give the example all the time. It's like a, like a beast on the ground that's like flopping around on the floor trying to, you know, trying to just take whatever can with it as it goes down, you know? I should probably go in. It usually gets, usually gets busy when I come down here. You guys know how it is. You, you live with the same kind of stuff. The uh, the, the Truman Show aspects of uh, our our situation. <laughs> Don't blame the teacher. Blame the school. 